Many people's image or idea of a black hole will be largely influenced by films in which they have been featured, either as a mythical celestial body capable of opening space that allows for time travel, or perhaps the ultimate destructive force, something to be feared and avoided at all costs. In reality, black holes are a combination of the two, a celestial body born from chaos, a place we will likely never visit and witness with our own eyes. Officially, a black hole is defined as a region of space having a gravitational field so intense that no matter, light, or radiation can escape. They are unequivocally gargantuan, usually at a mass at 3 to 10 times greater than solar masses. That is except for one black hole in particular, one so small and so close to Earth, its origin and order in the Milky Way galaxy has baffled astronomers since the announcement of its discovery in 2021. Thus, the unicorn was introduced, the smallest black hole in the recorded history of space. But before we take a look at this fascinating discovery, let's expand a little on the history of black holes. Black holes and the theory of their existence have actually been around since the late 18th century, when the English astronomer John Michel theorised there must be something in the cosmos so large that not even light could shine through. These concepts were slowly developed further by scientists through the turn of the 20th century, as light was understood to be a wave rather than a particle, and confirmed in 1915 when Einstein's theory of relativity proved that gravity can affect the movement of light waves. This guiding hypothesis completely revised the scientific community's studies in the late 1950s when astronomers entered what was considered the golden age of general relativity, and it was widely believed black holes were massive stars that collapsed in on themselves. These processes would then deform space-time and create an event horizon, or in other words, a boundary of no escape. This means that objects can only go in one direction in and around black holes, and with their incomprehensibly low temperature, are directly unobservable. The makeup of black holes to this day is an unsolved equation, but most experts agree they contain only three independent physical properties, mass, electric charge, and angular momentum. If an object enters the black hole, it ceases to exist, at least from an observational perspective, and because the parameters that make up a black hole do not change, it is impossible to discern what exactly enters or has entered a black hole. There are also black holes out in the cosmos that only contain mass, rather than three separate conditions. These are known as simplistic black holes and have the same gravitational field as other spherical objects of the same mass. This specification also erases the popular notion that black holes continuously suck in everything around them, unfolding the universe as we know it. That is only true in terms of the objects in the near vicinity of the black hole's event horizon, or outside layer. If an object is far enough away from the black hole, it will not be agitated by its gravitational pull. Depending on the black hole, these cosmic destroyers also contain what are called gravitational singularities at their centre. Singularities are the specific point where the intensity of gravity is so high, it causes space-time to break down beyond identification. In other words, the singularity has no specific where or when, it has infinite density. In a non-rotating or non-charged black hole, all that passes through the event horizon or outer layer cannot avoid being sucked into the singularity. Those objects may attempt to retreat, but can only do so for so long before ceasing to exist, as they are crushed into the previously mentioned infinite density and their mass is added to the totality of the black hole. In a rotating or charged black hole, being pulled into the centre is not inevitable. If an object were to theoretically avoid the singularity and exit the black hole, the potential to enter a completely different spacetime exists, making the black hole an Einstein-Rosenbridge, more colloquially known as a wormhole. 
before you start imagining a world in which humans can simply jump into rotating black holes and explore alternative universes. This potential is purely hypothetical, as the complex motion due to multiple gravities attracting the object would obliterate its regular state of being. The object would most likely not arrive at the other side of the bridge, in the same form or image that it was when it first entered the wormhole. This is the same reason why despite the mathematical possibility of returning to one's own past, using closed time-like curves in a rotating black hole holds weight. The rules of quantum physics combined with other theoretical paradoxes, such as casualty and the grandfather paradox, make time travel also as unlikely as finding new universes. Knowing the basic structure and behaviour of black holes, where does that leave the unicorn? The smallest known black hole, closer to Earth than any other black hole in all of the universe. The unicorn is officially categorised as a non-rotating, lower mass gap black hole, the second part to a binary system of the variable star V723 Monocerotis. This system falls within the constellation Monoceros, the Greek word for unicorn, hence the special black hole's famous moniker. The black hole itself is called a lower mass gap black hole. Lower mass gap black hole refers to a celestial body with a mass greater than a neutron star, a dense stellar husk left behind after some stars die, but emitting no light despite being the companion to another star in a binary or ternary system. These types of black holes are thought to be created not by the collapse of a single star, but rather the merging of star systems. In the case of the unicorn, its origin is almost certainly that of a collapsed star due to its incredibly low mass for a black hole and the existence of the other star in the V723 Monocerotis system, a red giant with the same mass as our solar system's sun, but with 25 times the diameter. The most fascinating part of the unicorn's existence is its proximity to Earth and placement in the Milky Way galaxy the V723 Monocerotis black hole is only a mere 1,500 light-years from Earth, easily the closest to our home planet of its kind. It also wasn't discovered for years until the research into its companion red giant, the star it shares gravity with, revealed a patterned change in appearance. Astronomers noticed something was orbiting V723. It wasn't just any old planetary mass or brown dwarf, rather it was something of similar mass, something large enough to form a binary system. Of course, someone cannot see a black hole. Black holes must be observed using the light from the objects nearby. Thus the curious astronomers observed the red giant's orbit and noticed periods of alternating light waves, where the star's light intensity and overall imaging would change depending on where this celestial mass was in its orbit. Not only that, but astronomers found something else to key them in on the black hole's existence. Their research showed the red giant of Monoceros was literally being altered by another force, its shape being pulled by something called tidal distortion. Tidal distortion is similar to the moon's effects on the Earth's oceans, only at a much greater equation due to the size and gravity of the black hole and the sun. It's so strong, it causes the sun's tides to bulge, giving it a more elongated, pear-like shape. Even a few years ago, Scientists would have been puzzled by such a discovery. It was theorised but never agreed upon that black holes could contain such little mass, but something of its calibre had to be affecting the nearby stars in such a powerful way. Thus, the term lower mass gap was born. Like many black holes in the cosmos, astronomers then confirmed their findings by using X-ray technology to detect an accretion disk that would probably have formed around the unicorn. Accretion disks are the bands of radiation heated by black holes after absorbing radiation and other materials from their companion stars. Telescopes equipped with X-ray imaging are able to discern these disks from the otherwise blanketed darkness created by black holes, and are what gave astronomers their first glance at the unicorn, at least theoretically. The discovery of a minuscule black hole relatively close to Earth isn't just an exciting revelation that changes everything we once thought about the makeup of the Milky Way galaxy. These findings could also be the key to unlocking new secrets about the universe as a whole. 
how black holes interact with other cosmic objects, and how stars truly die when they reach the end of their timelines. For example, it's not an exact science when determining the cause of a star's death. It is known that stars either collapse, explode, or do something that's in between those two outcomes. If there was a black hole close enough to observe, we might be able to research more into how it was born, and if there's a pattern with stars' deaths and the black holes that ignite afterwards. Fortunately for modern day astronomy and the future generations of scientists, the red giant in V723 Monoceritis is closer to its demise than its beginning. When it eventually does go gentle into that good night, we'll be able to observe what happens when a star dies in a binary system, and how the black hole already there absorbs the collapse and or explosion. Do the black holes merge to create an intermediate black hole? Do they remain in orbit of each other? Do their gravitational forces cause a chaos never before seen in the Milky Way galaxy? Does the star simply cease to exist, and that corner of the cosmos goes dark for eternity? Or does the red giant become a white dwarf, and the relationship it has with the black hole stay the same? Regardless of what happens, it will definitely be our best bet to watch such an event of galactic proportions. Unless more lower mass gap black holes are discovered in closer pockets of the Milky Way, we have the best view of the Unicorn and all of Monoceros, with telescopes that have been photographing the star system for decades. We also may not be around long enough to witness the collapse of a star so close to home. The Sun in our home solar system is predicted to balloon into a red giant itself in 5 billion years, an event that will ensure both Mercury and Venus are consumed by the Sun. Earth is predicted to miss the initial expansion, however the drastic increase in temperature will make it so that the atmosphere will no longer be able to sustain life, and the oceans will boil over. Of course, this doesn't take into effect the chances that civilization here on Earth doesn't perish before the 5 billion year timeline, nor the possibility of finding other stars in the universe, that gives us an even greater look at the life and death of stars, and their relationships to black holes. As it stands, the Unicorn provides us with our greatest tool to further the study of black holes, and their relationship with our universe's history, present and future. Many people who come across this news of a black hole so close to Earth will most likely ask the question everyone wants an optimistic answer to. Will it be possible to send something to the black hole in question and study what actually happens when an object crosses the event horizon, or in other words, the first observational proof of a wormhole. Unless there is an absolutely massive breakthrough with technology, and the speeds at which we can propel rockets through space, the answer is most certainly no. When the phrase, close to Earth is used to describe the unicorn's proximity to our home planet, it's taking into account the size of the cosmos. In normal measurements, close to Earth, references things like the International Space Station or the Moon, places we can travel to in about three days' time. Even an expedition to Mars takes a mere seven months despite being 55 million miles away at its closest point to Earth. The Unicorn is about 1,500 light-years from us. The speed of light travels at 186,282 miles per second which means that if we hopped on the fastest spacecraft ever assembled that can reach speeds of 125 miles per second, it would take roughly 1,490 years to travel to one light year. Multiply that number by 1,500, and you're looking at a 2.2 million year journey from the Earth to the Unicorn. This doesn't take into account all of the infinite possibilities of what could happen to the spacecraft during its journey nor the improbability of being able to fuel a spacecraft to travel at that speed for such an unbelievably long period of time. Ultimately, even if by some miracle we were able to reach the unicorn, once we get the object inside of the event horizon, the object would probably dissolve or deconstruct anyway, and all of its data would be renderless. There is no fathomable way to transmit data from interstellar space back to Earth anyway, so we'd need the object to return. If there is one thing we know about black holes, it's that once something enters the fray, it cannot exit. And even if it did, it would end up either in a different universe than ours, or in a different point of space-time. Maybe the data could help astronomers of another dimension, but odds are, the data will no longer exist. Ultimately, the unicorn is just another piece of the puzzle. It is a vital, 
potentially awe-inspiring peace, but a peace nonetheless. It doesn't mean optimism can't be had, however. Despite the roadblocks that seem to still deter us from learning more about black holes, the unicorn takes us one step closer in knocking them down, shining the light on answers to the mysteries our cosmos creates, even in the smallest quantities. Join us next week on Access Astronomy as we explore and delve into the vast universe. Thanks for watching.